In the last few days, we've learned from a new Georgia Forestry Commission report that the state's forest industry increased 3.6 percent to $16.9 billion between 2012 and 2013. With that in mind, we take a special look at the forestry industry in Georgia and how one man's vision literally boosted forestry and a few related industries. Trutland County was created by the Georgia Legislature in 1917 and began operations in January 1919. Thanks to the Macon, Dublin, and Savannah Railroad, the county seat of Soperton founded as a train station, and the city quickly became known as the Million Pine City, thanks to James Fowler. Fowler's granddaughter, Justine Gillis, said her grandfather is credited with being a founding father of modern forestry. Well, to us, he was just always Papa. Our mother used to talk about memories, of course, about our grandfather, and through the years, through different publications and so forth, we realized that he had played an instrumental role in promoting forestry in the South. He was doing things before other people were doing them. He was quite a visionary as far as being ahead of his time. During his lifetime, Mr. Fowler planted over 7 million of these type slash pine seedlings on some 10,000 acres of farmland in Trutland County. My grandfather was one of 10 children. I he was not an educated man, although he was a very brilliant man, but he did not have the opportunity to become educated. He attended, I believe, eight grades of school, but he was one of ten children, and I can imagine that being one of ten and living during those times that he wanted to succeed, and he did. Before his death in 1963, Fowler received numerous honors for his vision. First and foremost, they, uh, they got the, the reforestation process going. They, they saw the need to replace the, the trees that were being harvested. Um, and then that, that led to uh, agencies such as the Georgia Forestry Commission and uh, federal agencies such as the U.S. Forest Service to, to cooperate in the late 50s to early 60s with a, what we call a tree improvement program. And in that program, uh, we started off um, improving seedlings. And by the late 60s, we had some improved slash pine available to landowners. And that, that was all started by the, the original efforts of these people, these pioneers that, that saw the effort or the need to reforest the, the um, acreage in Georgia. The very first newspaper made from Fowler's pine trees used to publish the Soperton News on March 31st, 1933. Besides the copy you're looking at that belongs to the Trutland County Library, a copy of the original edition is now in the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. So Trutland County has a bit of history even in the Smithsonian.